Jeff Elliott, Youth Education Coordinator for Colorado Trout Limited. As CTU looks towards the next 50 years, the question is not what, when, where, why, nor how. Over the course of CTU's history, we have answered these questions through our work in river conservation, stream management, native trout restoration, and legislative advocacy. The question is now who? Who do we protect cold water fisheries for? Who will carry on our legacy of river stewardship? Who will step into our waders and fight for watersheds and trout once we move on from this work? As an educator, a conservationist, and a parent, the answer is easy. We do what we do for the next generation. We must connect young people to watersheds, aquatic ecosystems, and trout to ensure the ongoing success of Trout Unlimited's work. Hi, my name is Miles Groth. I'm a sixth grade teacher at Ute Pass Elementary School in Chapita Park, Colorado. Uh, we've been doing trout in the classroom uh, for five years now. Probably the biggest thing is that we've shaped our curriculum around trout in the classroom as we investigate water, stream health in the area on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the year. Stream Girls is an important program for middle school age girls for two reasons. One being that they get to engage in, with adult volunteers who are giving back to their community through volunteering for Colorado Trout Unlimited. And the second because they get to actually get out there and be scientists themselves. We all know that STEM for middle school age girls is extremely important. So it gets them thinking about what their future and their career might hold. And Stream Girls allows them to integrate science and outdoor exploration. So it's definitely a win-win for them. One aha moment for Girl Scouts of Colorado in the Stream Girls program has been hearing from some of the parents who have brought their daughters to a Stream Girls program. They get to watch their daughters do things that they never got to do themselves and for girls to become risk takers and explorers that's been probably the best and sweetest aha moment for us so the vision of our camp is to provide a program that is about half conservation education and about half uh, fly fishing education one of my favorite parts of my first camp was just really seeing everyone come together as a team and have a passion for the outdoors and wanting to conserve and protect it. That was, that's what kind of lit my, lit my soul on fire for it. Uh, TU's been a part of my life for a while. My dad's been a lifetime member for a couple years and my first time that I ever really went fly fishing, fly fishing was on a TU expedition in Salida. And so I just really love learning more about this stuff and like how I can help other people and help the environment and give back to something so great that's given me so much. And so that's sort of why I really like this camp. There are so many pressures in this world that, uh, uh, that reduce habitat. Um, we need to have future guardians of that habitat, you know. Uh, it's not just the fishing, it's, it's, it's maintaining uh, the world to the extent we can as it is, you know, or making it better. And before this, I never knew like what I wanted to do with my life, where I want to go, what I wanted to do for college or have a job, but having all the career panels and seeing like all the guest speakers really has inspired me to definitely look more into that. So the whole Headwaters concept of Trout Unlimited, providing educational opportunities that take these kids through all the, the stages of their lives, that they're our next generation of members but really our impact, I think, because we're connecting them to nature and connecting them to each other, we are helping them basically create their, their life community. And I think that's, that's a tremendous, tremendous impact.